Today we are covering how to make diet food taste incredible. If you're sick of bland, boring chicken and rice that does not get results and is completely unsustainable and hard to stick to, then this is going to be your video. Get a notepad out, stay tuned, I'm going to take you to the kitchen. This is un organised as it is, is the key to my success. I am going to take all of this out and show you in a second. This is the first way that you can make diet food taste incredible. Yes, that is of course seasoning. The first thing and the easiest thing that you can do to make your food taste good is season it properly. Now, no one, people say that there's calories and seasoning, should I be worried? I add plenty of salt and pepper as well, like you'll see some of my recipes, which will be off to the side at the end of this video. Um, they all have plenty of seasoning. Yes, it takes a little bit of effort, and where do you start with it all? But that is what the recipe videos on this channel are for. If you're eating bland, plain, unseasoned foods, how are you ever going to stick to a diet? Like, and I'll use this analogy. When you, put it this way, do you have to, think about the thing you enjoy doing most in this world. Whether it's watching football, playing a sport, doesn't matter. Listen to it, you know, playing a PlayStation game, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, going out with the children, whatever. Do you need to get motivated to do that? Do you need to get yourself up for it? Does it feel like an absolute chore? No, of course not. And fitness and food and healthy eating should not feel the same way. If it does, there is a problem. So the first thing to do is, of course, season your foods. Yes, I've got a million there, but if you're working through the recipes on this channel, or if you're working through the free meal plan that you've been sent over, then, <coughs> pardon me, we're keeping it rolling. Then, first and foremost, use the seasons that are in there. Do not be fair and scared to try and test out different things. You might like some, you might not. You might like some, you might not. Like, it's, it's trial and test. But do not just be eating plain, bland, boring foods because you're never going to stick to the diet. Your ability to be successful on a diet, lose fat, feel good, be high in energy, stay productive, ties directly into your levels of body fat, energy levels, etc. You have to control the food you're eating, you have to make it taste enjoyable to do so. Let's get into number two. This is the second one, so these are some low calorie sauces like the reduced sugar, soy sauce, teriyaki marinade, sweet chilli reduced sugar, brown sauce reduced sugar. All of these things are perfectly fine to have, like no problem. Again, I will also use um, Frank's Red Hot or Nando sauces are really good. So using something like them can really make a difference. No one failed to lose weight or drop body fat because they had a little bit of sauce on the side of their plate. <laughs> so don't be scared to use them. If you're forcing down and choking down bland food, you're just going to stop what you're doing. So again, focus and make it enjoyable. One thing I do personally in the meals is use something like this. So I will use when I'm making like curries or sauces or things like that, I will use like chopped tomatoes and then essentially season them and stuff. Again, that is all in the recipes and is something I highly recommend. If you can make the nutrition part of this process enjoyable, if you can make diet food taste great, taste incredible, then by all means you're gonna to stick to the diet. Again, not a little hack here. These, classic Scottish of course, I am brew extra, no sugar, no calories. Like, if you want Coke Zero, if you want Sprite Zero, if you want Powerade Zero, a Monster, go for it. They're not going to cause any harm. There is this idea that sweeteners and things like that can be harmful. They are not. They have been scientifically proven not to be. <laughs> so don't be overly worried about consuming things like that. If you can keep the sweet tooth at bay, if you can keep the cravings at bay by using something like that, I've got a majorly sweet tooth, then by all means, you're going to be more on track, which is at the end of the day, the currency. Consistency is key. Compliance is a science, however you want to look at it. The, your ability to stick to the diet is only what matters most. Making diet food taste incredible is easy if you follow the steps, if you put in some effort. Now, you do not need to spend three to four hours per every meals on a Sunday to make it taste good. Okay, you need to put in a little bit of work, a little bit of preparation, but if you're batch cooking things, maybe picking two to three meals for the week, making them taste really good and switching up the recipes the following week, that is the most efficient, the most effective, the most streamlined way you can stick to a diet, make it taste incredible and continue getting results. Let us hear below what your thoughts are. 
how do you prep meals? How would you like, what would more would you like to see from me? And if you haven't done so, make sure and go in to, off to the side and look at the recipe playlist. There's hundreds of stuff in there. Literally dozens of recipes that taste amazing. I wouldn't force myself to eat bland food, I can assure you. Um, also, for those who haven't done so, grab your free strategy call with the link in the description. That is going to be a 30-minute call where I game plan the next six months for you completely free. Completely free coaching call where I tell you how to eat, sleep, train, how to get results and what's working for me and my clients right now. Top link in the description titled Strategy Call.